Welcome to Provide Directory and Patient Index New and Next. Hello, I'm James Derrickson, Product Owner for Patient Index and Provide Directory. The agenda for today is a background and, inter and an introduction to Provide Directory and Patient Index. You will get to see what is new and next for Provide Directory, and you will get to see a demo of several new features. It will also share with you what is next for Patient Index. After today's session, you should come away with a better understanding of the capability of both products. You'll be familiar with recent product features and have an understanding of how these products could benefit your organization. The vision of HealthShare Provider Directory is about sharing clean provider data. Today, provider information is often fragmented across care delivery silos. Public directories often contain out of date and inaccurate information. This becomes a barrier to patient access and creates many bottlenecks in healthcare. In HealthShare Provider Directory, we're able to take multiple sources of provider information to build a single source of truth. We use our push service to update the HealthShare user clinician registry with provider identifiers, direct addresses, and endpoints to drive notifications in the unified care record. Our push service also creates our fire repository that is part of our CMS solution pack. And the push service can be used to send provider updates to external systems to facilitate other workflows, such as cross-entity care management. The value of provider directory is to serve as a single source of truth. This source of truth is created by using information from multiple origins, such as in this case, provider records from East Care Clinic, an echo credentialing system, and a WestMed IDN. These produce a master record for provider Fred Johnson. Provider directory can be used for multiple use cases, such as provider attribution, reducing referral leakage, and supporting no surprise billing, as well as other high impact use cases. When we talk about healthshare provider directory, it's important to understand how providers represent the healthcare landscape. At the center of provider directory are the locations where care is delivered. In provider directory, we manage relationships of individual providers to where they deliver care and do business. We do the same for provider organizations. We also manage organization to organization relationships that reflect the organization's hierarchies in healthcare for operational and financial purposes. Provider directory also manages what practice locations are participating in networks. We also track what plans align to these networks and who are the administrators for common networks and plans. Provider directory also manages and maintains individual provider relationships to organizations for provider affiliations. Let's talk about the process that creates our directory. The first part is translation. Provider directory can ingest inbound data from numerous sources such as NPES, HL7 master file messages, XML files, and others. Afterwards, data is prepared with several stages of curation to clean and validate information. Next, inbound data is categorized and split to make the building blocks of records for the directory. These records are matched and assigned a common ID so that relationships can be built and maintained. Ambiguous matches are placed on a work list. During the build phase, information is consolidated by applying data governance rules to build a single source of truth that can be shared through different methods of integration and interoperability, such as REST services, Fire APIs, our push service, and extract service. Our focus for sharing clean provider information relies on leveraging our strength in interoperability, using our matching engine for identity management to produce a single source of truth and applying data governance to create an accurate and up-to-date directory. We do this to help meet both the regulatory and business needs in healthcare. New features in provider directory build upon our interoperability strengths. We added an NPES endpoint service to consume the CMS NPI provider endpoint file. We expanded on our support, the PDIX DaVinci PlanNet Fire standard. We have also added a new public LDAP API for faster implementation. For identity management, we enhanced our search capability by adding phonetic search to the directory. Data stewards can now search on locations directly, as well as search for organizations by type. Also, we updated our accepting new patient search to utilize the FHIR new patient value set. For data governance, we allow data stewards now to add and edit network and plan information. We also added concurrency control to prevent multiple updates to the same record at the same time. Lastly, we added a new feature called form access to manage role-based permissions to control what information can be viewed and edited in the directory by data stewards. Let's take a closer look at the new form access feature. Here is the new form access app in provider directory. 
Under Form Access, we can manage permissions for the roles that a site can add for their operational needs. A site can define different roles for different teams of users, such as roles for their business external and cross-regional teams. We're going to take a look at the business team permissions. For this business team, we can define permissions for all the forms they ma manage. These permissions can be view only, view and edit, or custom for the entire section. We can define access at the field by field level as well. If we look at the permissions defined for managing an individual provider record, we can see a business member has view and edit access for most sections, some sections view only, such as identifiers and specialties, and for others, no access at all. If we look at this provider record for Fred Johnson in edit mode without the business role applied, we can see the full attributes for identifiers with the ability to add and edit. The same is true for background and the specialty section. If we look at the same provider record with the business team role applied, the user now only has view access to identifiers and they are restricted from viewing some identifier fields. They only have view access for specialty information. They are unable to view any information for background and sanctions. Lastly, they do have view and edit capability for the education section. A closing note on the form access feature is that it works with the provider directory extensible data model and overview form customizations. So if you add new fields to directory in the overview, you can use the form access feature to manage permissions for your changes. Let's take a look at some of the new add and edit network plan features. Under manual entry, we have introduced the ability to add plan, network, contract administrator, in network and manage by relationships. If we click on plan, we can add a new plan. And here we see the information we collect on plans, region, business year, effective dates, and market coverage. In this release, we updated our plan type and meta level value sets to be consistent with the PDX DaVinci plan net standard. For the, in the master browser, any relationships can be added for provider Fred Johnson. If we examine his practice location, we can see he's currently participating in one network. By using the Add button, we can create a new in-network relationship for this provider's practice. We can define the tier level, indicate the network type, and apply a date range to define the period of participation. If we drill down further to the network by clicking on the summary card, we can see the network record displayed. We can select to edit the network. Here we can edit, see the fields that we can edit for the network in the provider directory, such as plan year, date range, type of network, description, and identifiers. This concludes our demo of the Add Edit Network Plan features. To recap on what is new in Provider Directory, our focus remains on increased interoperability, improved data need management, and data governance. Better directories allow for better patient access to providers and improved provider utilization. Inaccurate directories can negatively impact how plans can charge patients. Our product vision of sharing clean provider information is in alignment with the needs in healthcare today and the challenges of no surprise billing. Looking ahead to where we'll be going, we'll remain focused on interoperability, identity management, and data governance. For interoperability, we are committed to FHIR standards and their evolution, such as the PDX DaVinci PlanNet standard. FHIR is also being adopted internationally, and we plan to support additional FHIR standards beyond DaVinci PlanNet. Today, Provider Directory builds a FHIR repository that uses protection of FHIR objects from our push service. In the future, we intend to be able to ingest FHIR-based records as well. Similar work is also planned for the HealthShare Unified Care Record. Also, we want to adopt the ability to bulk export from the provider to using FHIR. And lastly, we also plan to add standardized HL7 master file notif notification services to provide directory as well as other industry standards. For identity management, we intend to expand upon how providers are managed in provider directory. To travel along this path, we'll be adopting the HealthShare Frost UI. We also will adopt the HealthShare single sign-on OAuth framework. These efforts, along with our form access feature, will set the groundwork for features such as provider self-service and expanded operational tasks to maintain the directory. Lastly, we plan to add geolocation search to the directory for user workflows and the FHIR repository. For data governance, we plan to give users more insight into the data that is managed in the directory. This includes our data quality dashboards for both inbound and outbound feeds from the directory as well as reports on the data under management. We will complement our data quality dashboards with reporting features for network coverage and adequacy. This will leverage the geolocation features plan to define coverage areas. 
Today, the burden of managing provider information falls to both payers and provider organizations. Much effort is duplicated. The ONC has a vision of more accurate directories to improve patient access and prevent unanticipated costs of care by leveraging fire interoperability to more easily exchange information. This vision also allows for providers to update and attest to their information and centrally manage validated directories. These centralized directories can be used to drive workflows across healthcare or organizations. In summary, after learning more, more about healthcare provider directory and where we are going, you can see our alignment with the ONC vision and the benefits of healthcare provider directory can offer both provider and payer organizations. Now let's transition to patient index. In today's multi-health world, a patient can have information dispersed across many different points of care. For, for interoperability and aggregation of clinical information, a master patient index is needed to manage patient identities. HealthShare Patient Index is an enterprise master patient index built upon the InterSystems Linkage Engine, also called NPRL. It is a member of the HealthShare family of solutions. It is available as a standalone product or to complement the HealthShare Unified Care Record. Its integration uses standards-based communications and custom interfaces. It is high-performing, flexible, and scalable. For those who are not familiar with Patient Index, Patient Index consists of several core features. At the heart of Patient Index is our record matching engine that is configurable and extensible to include additional demographic information that can be used for weighted and deterministic and rule-based matching. Patient Index also includes a whole record viewer that allows users to examine all records that are matched. The whole record viewer is paired with our workflow integration that allows designated match records to be manually reviewed and acted upon. The composite record allows an implementation to configure which demographic information is selected from all the contributing match records. This composite demographic record can be used for displaying patient search results. The data quality dashboards give visibility into the data quality of all records received in patient index using pre-built data quality rules, metrics, and breakdowns. All records and events are audited in patient index with data store, stored securely. Patient index also allows for sites to have configurable rules that can be referenced from our matching engine. Lastly, Patient Index works with standards-based APIs used in healthcare that allows for swift implementation and integration. Our product vision for Patient Index remains the same, to provide an accurate, well-performing matching engine that is easy to install, configure, and manage. The last two release cycles for Patient Index was focused on the IRIS platform and single sign-on OOP adoption. These last release cycles also saw a focus on provider directory development due to regulatory drivers for public directory APIs and no surprise billing requirements. We do have a clear vision of where we want to go with Patient Index. Our forward-looking vision for Patient Index is focused on accuracy, scalability, and interoperability. We have done some proof of concept with customers to progress in these areas. We are not yet ready to sign a definite release schedule for our plan enhancements but some areas we are looking at include machine learning, referential matching, and biometrics. Our initial proof of concepts have been quite promising. At Mass General Brigham, using a trained machine learning model, we saw a significant improvement in match prediction that resulted in far less records requiring manual review. And currently, Patient Index is involved in two biometric projects with New York City Health and Hospital. These are some of the first steps we are taking in our commitment of improving accuracy, scalability, and interoperability. I hope to be able to give more updates soon in these areas. Longer term for patient index and provider directory, we want to support faster deployment and integration capability. Our goal is to reduce total cost of ownership and decrease time to value for our customers. Outside of new product features, we'll be working on different efforts to reduce total cost of ownership and facilitate faster time to value. One way we plan to do this is by adopting more features of the IRIS platform that allow us to leverage cloud deployments. We are also interested in expanding the regions supported for patient index and provider directory. Patient index now includes regionalized libraries for English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and South African locales. Soon we hope to expand for other regions such as Brazil with the Portuguese library and others. Today, provider directory is regionalized for the US market. And we have done some implementations in the UK. We tend to allow for standardized implementations in different regions for a provider directory in the future. Thank you for attending today's session, UNX, Health Share Provider Directory and Patient Index. 
feel free to reach out to me later for more questions.